Hi everybody, it's me, Lindsay Malloy, and welcome back to my channel. This is the first week uh, in my brand new Erin Condren. Here's the front cover. I've got um, the rose gold version with the succulents um, of my vertical Erin Condren, and I am super excited to start this week. Um, I am going to be using this planner as my uh, memory planner. So it is going to be purely memory planning. I'm going to be printing pictures. Um, the pictures that I'm using I printed on my Canon selfie. Um, so that's where I got these from. Um, and then I am going to also pull in leftovers. So this kit that I'm going to pull in is the Planning Roses um, Spring Fling Collection. So it has a little bit of some, a couple icons left over, some quarter boxes, and then definitely mainly gonna wanna be using the washi strips. Um, here's some more, lots of washi. Um, and then some to-do lists and more quarter boxes and things like that. So I'm gonna be pulling those in. Then um, from my sticker collection, I am going to be pulling in um, some stickers from these five me and my big ideas happy happy planner sticker books um, two of them are the happy memory keeping ones um, this one has some just really beautiful seasonal stickers in here um, so I want to bring in probably a couple of these summery um, stickers and like the bikes because I want to sh um, talk about um, how we rode our bikes on one day. This one is another one. It's pretty seasonal. has hot dates and holidays, lots of numbers and stuff. And I recently just picked up this one, the Squad Goals, also another seasonal sticker book. So definitely going to bring in some of the summery ones. And I feel like the light pink matches pretty well with the kit that I'm pulling in. Um, for the summer versions there. I've got gold star quotes and planner basics as well, the mini version. And I just think they just have a lot of cute stuff in there that I feel like I might be able to pull in for a memory spread. Um, so I, since I am a very methodical planner, I do take a while. Oh, that's the only bad thing about these um, nails is they make little red marks. Uh, I've gotta be careful, um, but yeah. Um, I am a very methodical planner. I do take like to take a while. I like to take breaks and pause and, and walk away for a minute and come back. So I do speed through, but I will start the voiceover now. So enjoy. All right, so first off, what I'm gonna do is just I'm cutting up these pictures that I printed with my Canon selfie that my husband got me for Christmas one year. Um, and just using regular scissors. The app that I used to do the um, kind of collage looking thing, it was Live Collage and it is a free app. Um, so now I'm just kind of laying them out and trying to figure out how I want them to go. This is not the final layout, but it's just like a general idea of how I wanna fit all of these photos on the page. And this is my first memory plan, um, kind of memory planner ever, really. Aside from, I used a horizontal one as kind of a journal slash memory planner, but this one I wanted to be more of just like quick little journaling. And I wanted it to feel a little bit like a project life layout and just something different. Um, so this book um, from Happy Planner is the Gold Star Quotes, and I wanted to kind of make a full box in that top left box, and I am um, using this one that says Think Happy Thoughts, and I'm just using some of these, um, whatchamacallit, little washi strips. This was an older kit. Um, that I had used before and saved some of the stickers or my leftovers. And that was my plan for this planner. I was not planning on buying new stickers for this. I was 100% just want to use leftover stickers for my planner and stickers from the Happy Planner sticker books. So 
So yeah, on my sidebar, I wanted to track kind of like a happy memory on each day, even if I didn't have a picture for it. Um, so since my pictures are kind of large, I'm wondering, I probably even fit six stickers or f um, six pictures on a page instead of just four. But anyways, um, in the beginning of the week, we went and saw Jurassic World and we took a picture, I took a picture of the giant Jurassic World um, display. And then I also also took a picture of us next to the T-Rex, which I thought was fun. And just adding the little bits of embellishment here, um, this movie um, kind of screen washi, I believe is from Michael's. Um, it was, I think it was one of those kits from, gosh, long time ago. Um, I got this probably years ago. Um, the little popcorn kit, I believe, is from the tiny book. Um, and then, yeah. Next, I wanted to also add a little bit more color into this. So I'm using this pink washi that is also from Michaels. And then this blue washi with the gold geometric foiling on it is actually from um, Joanne's. No, it's from Hobby Lobby. And Hobby Lobby, and it is a little bit frustrating because it has the paper behind it, but I can understand why. It's, it's really a high quality washi tape. Um, so just did a little bit of journaling, kind of like a caption to show which date it was um, for that first photo. And then um, on the end of the week, we went to Falcon Freedom Days and watched some fireworks. So I got this little sticker that says Watch Fireworks, and I believe that one is from the seasonal kit. It's one of the like summer bucket lists things and then um, on the side I wanted to kind of do a fun layering effect for marking that we it was Falcon Freedom Freedom Day um, which was on Saturday and these little quarter boxes are just from the leftovers from that kit that I originally used and I wanted to um, put a little caption on there um, for the day as well as um, the date next to the photo. Below it, I just have put a pic picture um, from that day as well. And I didn't, I wanted to include the pic this picture of the golf course. Um, we went to the US Senior Open, um, which was here in Colorado Springs at the Broadmoor. So I wanted to also put that in. That was on Sunday. So most of my stuff is probably going to be on the weekend. So the ending part of the week is mostly just going to be the weekend pictures, I think. Um, so I used this washi again from Michaels. And this little flag is from the kit. And I just used that to mark U.S. Senior Open on top of that little golf course picture that I had taken that day. And um, some fun little pictures that I took um, of my husband and I at the event. And then I wanted to do a little bit of journaling. So I did a little um, swirly arrow and then um, did a quick little paragraph of journaling about the pictures below. Then on the side, I um, actually end up doing some more journaling on that page a little bit later. Here I was seeing I wanted to go across two boxes to make journaling, so I used whiteout to um, white out that middle bar and then use that entire space to do some journaling next in that um, little area. Next up, I am using this little stamp. This stamp is from Allie Edwards, I believe, and it was one of those monthly kits that I used to get. Um, I think it's from Allie Edwards. Or it could be from Kelly Perky. It's one of those two. <laughs> um, so either one of those. I think it's Allie Edwards, though, and it was a monthly kit um, that I, monthly subscription that I got. 
um, quite a while ago because I wanted to mark how much I loved that movie. Then I wanted to also use this space to include my tickets and things like that. So um, off camera, actually later, I don't do this on camera. I actually use a an Erin Condren um, clip-in, the little clip-ins that you can get from Erin Condren that has a little sticky piece so you can put um, something on there and then it clips right into the coil. I do that and add in a the senior open um, ticket that we had um, on this layout. So now I'm just marking in some days uh, on for each day using my actual planner because I also do uh, memory planning in my actual planner. Um, just a quick little thankful thought kind of thing. Um, so I kind of filled that in so I could have some memories of those. Then um, underneath that, I just have that um, sticker there. I'm trying to find a quote that I could put on that sidebar um, that would take up some space and also just kind of kind of talk about the week. Um, so inhale, exhale is kind of what I put in there. We did the movie. We're starting this movie night Monday night kind of thing just to get us out of the house and kind of excited about the week and excited about... Mondays, really, because, I mean, we might have the case of the Mondays. <laughs> um, so yeah, back over to the right side, I wanted to signify that I had my first phone interview with a uh, marketing company, which, sadly to say, I did not get the position, but that's okay. I'm already over it because I have some other exciting news that I will share in the future with you. Um, now just marking some more journaling over here on the left side of the page and I kind of, I, I definitely don't want to just do the left to right writing. I kind of want to write all over the place. Um, so I end up using, um, this little house icon on there, um, it was more to signify that we were biking. I wanted to use this bike sticker, but it was a little bit big. So I ended up just journaling instead um, in that little leftover space that is left over. All right, so that is pretty much it for this spread. I think it turned out pretty good. Um, the only thing that I didn't like, I feel like it needs a little bit more of a pop somewhere, but I think for my first spread of memory planning in my Erin Condren, I am loving it. I think it's adorable. I, I think this is great. It's just, it's just enough space where I'm almost wanting more, but at the same time, it's manageable for me because I don't take a lot of pictures every week. Um, so yeah. I think the last thing that I will do, and I'll show you a quick clip just at the end, um, is I think I'm gonna clip in our tickets for the Senior Open. And I believe I have some Erin Condren clips. Um, I don't wanna take up a bunch of time though on this video just searching for them. So, But I do have some Erin Condren clips where I want to um, use those in this memory planner in order to save things like that, like tickets and stuff like that. So I did save some of our movie tickets and, and took some photos there, here and there, but I think this is absolutely adorable. And I'm really excited to see how this grows throughout the year um, as a memory planner rather than a regular planner because I am using my Foxy Fix small planner. Um, so if you haven't seen this video, um, this will go up before this. Um, this is my plan with me for the current week in my new um, printable available in my shop. And then this is the um, planning roses. Same, same um, shop as the the kit that I used today, but it's her like celestial kit. Um, so yeah, I use this as my 
planner planner because I can add things like shopping lists and things like that. Um, but as far as a memory planner, I think the Erin Condren's are so beautiful. You know, you don't want to throw them away at the end of the year. You want to keep them. Um, so I think this is a great idea um, for something that I want to keep. Um, if you have any ideas on how I should use the monthly part, I've seen some people use this and they put like a picture a day. Um, I just can see myself failing at that. Um, I'm, so I'm not sure that I want to do a picture a day, I, even though that would be awesome. I might try it. Um, that might get me in the habit of making or taking pictures every day. Um, but in the meantime, what should I use this for? I was wondering maybe I might even do have this as kind of a in-between um, memory planning and faith um, faith planning and more of just a um, not so much Bible studies but doing a Bible verse a day and filling that in. Um, I would already miss have missed the first one though because I am filming this on the second. Um, but yeah, I let me know in the comments what you think, and I think I want to try that out and do something like that for my monthlies, either the photos or the Bible verse a day or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I think this is super awesome. Or I might do steps. That would be cool. Steps, working out, tracking, my health, that sort of thing. I think that's what I think I'll use this for. That sounds awesome. Yeah. Well, let me know what you think in the comments. I'm kind of a scatterbrain right now. So what do you... Let me know what you think. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I plan on continuing to use this planner as just a um, memory keeping planner and not so much using the vertical spaces as they were originally meant to be, as you can consider a memory plan, um, but more of just general vicinity like this is what we did in the beginning of the week and this is what we did at the end of the week um so yeah i think this is awesome if you loved it please make sure to give it a thumbs up so i know that you enjoy these memory plan with me's and also subscribe for more videos about planners and home and all that kind of stuff good stuff and i will see you next time all right bye